welcome to Fusion Fitness Online. Casey and Jen here with another video. Today we're working with spring play and standing splits. Um, so we're going to look at heavy springs versus light springs. And Casey and I have been talking about it and there's such a benefit to using heavy springs and light springs in a balanced way for your client's workout because it does such different things to the body and we, we need both. So we talk about the heavy springs as that power that you need to climb up the mountain and the light springs as the stability and balance skills and core work that you need to be going down the mountain. <laughs> All right, so Casey's gonna get on the reformer. She's gonna step on the dock first, the unmoving part of the reformer and then on to the reformer carriage. So for her, her heavy springs in this are a blue and a red. And so this is gonna be really challenging her outer leg. It's gonna be challenging actually um, all of the musculature around the leg bone. So we really want um, from inner to outer muscles really hugging around those leg bones. So on her inhale, from both her legs working equally, I want her to plant her feet and push out into the reformer and into the dock. And then on the exhale, gently coming back in. Yeah, so she has to meet the power of the springs. Uh-huh, and then all the way back in. Good, and you can see that little wobble wobble at the end. Yeah, so at the very end range, when she's stretching the spring to its maximum, can she stabilize the carriage? Good, really, and it's about actually working more with the stable leg than it is with the carriage leg. So yeah, you can't let this leg be lazy on this. Good, and gently coming all the way up. Now, now we go to the other extreme, right? Coming down the mountain. So I'm going to just hold the carriage so it's stable for her, and I'm just gonna take off the red spring. So now she just has a blue spring. <laughs> this is a whole different feeling. So on her inhale, I still want her to be using both legs equally, but it's a very different finesse of the exercise. And then on the exhale, it's her body, her musculature, not really the spring, that has to bring it in. So here, the work is actually coming in instead of the going out and holding and stabilizing it. This is pretty easy, except that you have to manage it, right? But the coming in, she really has to work, especially that last half inch to the bumper. Good, and then we, of course, as we detail it, we wanna look at the posture, making sure, right, that whether it's the heavy or the light, the light spring people are gonna tend to kind of sit more into their joints and we're gonna have to ask them to use a little bit more muscular energy around the skeleton to pull it apart. So we wanna see that both sides of the spine, both sides of the body, front, back, and actually side to side are equalized. So I would be walking around her during this once I was secure, um, that she was secure on the, the reformer. All right, and we'll do one more using both the legs even when she comes in. So she still has to be thinking about this standing stable leg. All right, let's come down. So I'm gonna ha take her hand and she's gonna step back with the carriage foot and then off. Great work. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.